to another roblox video before we start this video i just want to say please subscribe to the channel because it seems like only 13 percent of you guys are subscribed and only and the other 84 percent watch the videos but aren't subscribed helps me a lot and you know we're trying to hit 200 subs so i'd heavily appreciate it if you subscribe it's only free you know you don't have to do anything and like the video and leave a comment saying you subscribe i'll reply to it saying thanks anyway welcome back to another roblox video today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to get some shirts on roblox for free so, uh, you might be wondering, Max, how you're going to do this. You can't really get shirt templates anymore. Uh, basically, we're going to be using the, uh, the t-shirt feature on Roblox. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys forgot about that. And as you can see, I already uploaded a t-shirt on, you know, the sub to the newbie 101. Um, but uh, basically, as you can see, it makes it look completely different uh, from what, like, you know, it actually looked like. That was just the motorcycle shirt, but now it's a tuxedo. So, basically... How I did this is first thing you do is you go on Google and you type in whatever you want. So let's just say, for example, uh, I want a hoodie. So we look up hoodie Roblox T t shirt and you'll go here and we'll try and find one. So we'll find, you know, let's let's just say this one or oh, hmm, let's see. Uh, let's just say we want this little Maya cat shirt. So basically what we're going to do. Is we're going to copy and paste this to our computer by just dragging and dropping it. That's what I do. I just put it on my computer. And once we have it, it's downloaded to our computer. What you want to do is you want to go to your Roblox account. And you're going to see this little create tab right here. What you want to do is you want to click on that. And it will take you to here. And basically what you want to do from here is you're going to see my creations, places, models, all this stuff. But you're going to see t-shirts, shirts, and pants right here. You want to click on t-shirts. And what you do from here is you can see I already uploaded a t-shirt today. Make sure this works. Um, you want to choose a file. And wherever you saved it to, for example, on my desktop, because it's right here, uh, that's where I upload it to. I recommend you put it on your desktop because it's the easiest place to find it. Or if you're on Windows, I'm pretty sure Quick Access is also a really good thing if you go right here. Yeah, I, um, no, well, that's not for me in my case. But, um... Basically, uh, you figure out what it's named. So mine's right now unnamed. So I'll just, you know, choose file. See, look, unnamed right here. And I'll upload that and I can change its name. So just change its name to whatever. I'll just put a uh, hoodie and uh, there it is. And one second, you might, I have to fill up a capture, I guess. All right. So if you're doing this, it might actually give you a capture. I didn't really see this before. I think this is to prevent um, bots. Oh, I definitely did that one wrong. Uh, but yeah, I think this is just to protect uh, from bots and stuff. So all you have to do is just do this. It's pretty easy. I think I messed it up, actually. I, I messed that first one up. Uh, but all you have to do is just spin around the circles. It's not really that hard. And I'm pretty sure a four-year-old can do it. Uh, but yeah, basically, all you gotta do is keep on, you know, uh, flipping these. And I'm almost done. All right, there. And as you can see, good. And I can get it through. So as you can see, well, I didn't change his name. As you can see, it uploaded as a shirt. And it's, you know, fully uploaded and stuff. So now once it's uploaded, you can't sell it, but it's going to be in your inventory. So if I was to go to my inventory and uh, go click on, you know, let's see, t-shirts. I would see, you know, the two t-shirts I uploaded. This one might not show up because, you know, it's still kind of processing. Making sure you're not breaking any of the rules. Now here's where it comes in. So now you want to match it with something. As you can see with the tux, I matched it with a black shirt because, you know, it makes it look like it's a regular tuxedo. With the nine cat shirt, uh, we have to, you know, change it a little bit because if you can see, it kind of does show up a little. So we'll just let that load. Yeah, you can see, the, you know, the little thing shows up. So we could change that. Um, man, uh, we'll get this. Let's see. Or we could pretty much just, you know, skin tone and then we can just change the color of the torso so we'll just change that to just black and uh yeah basically uh we just did that so anyway uh that's how that whole like ordeal thing works oh uh, you know we just have to take off the shirt and stuff but i mean yeah as you can see it's a nine cat hoodie and to prove to you that this is not fake and you know it is actually real I'll hop into a game for a second so as you can see, we are in a pizza making, a tycoon, whatever factory. Um, as you can see, it works. As you can see, oh, it's R15, so I'm kind of, you know, making it like shrivel around. But if it's an R6, oh, 
not do that but basically as you can see that it's a free roblox hoodie right there and uh yeah you didn't have to pay any robux or anything so this is a really nice way to style out your uh, avatar not enough people know this and i thought i would just share it with the world anyway thank you guys for watching comment like, subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye